Hello viewers, for DIYers here with a continuation of my buy and sell lawnmower video series. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to replace the wheel bearings on a lawnmower. Do you have a friend that's interested in DIY projects? Be sure to refer them over to my channel. While this wasn't a common option, some lawnmowers were equipped with bearings in the wheels. They're fairly easy to replace, or you can opt out for a regular wheel which doesn't have bearings, and I'll be doing this. The reason I'm not buying new bearings is I'd like to sell this lawnmower before the snow does come around and the cheapest place I did source out bearings takes about a month to order them. I'll give a little more info on the bearings in a moment. First remove the hubcap using a standard screwdriver. They simply snap into place. Once the cap has been removed, loosen the center nut using the correct socket and ratchet. Loosen the nuts while the mower is still on the ground as this keeps it stable. Next elevate the mower. I would recommend removing the spark plug wire just to be safe and to prevent the mower from starting. To buy new bearings locally from a small engine dealer or Sears, as this is a craftsman, they want about $30 per wheel, but this varies between sizes. New bearings can be purchased online. I found sources on Amazon and eBay, which is only $10 for a full set, which is 8 bearings in total. Sometimes they can be cheaper if you purchase more. Now you will need to measure the shaft diameter it fits on, along with the outside diameter of the existing bearing where it sits into place in the wheel. Now remove the nuts completely to remove the wheels. After that, pull the wheels off the shaft. There are two bearings on each wheel, an inner and outer bearing. Place the wheel on two blocks of wood. Allow the center to be unsupported so the bearing will pop out. Here I'll be demonstrating three different methods. First using a punch, it must be small enough to fit in the center of the wheel bearing. Place it on the back side of the other bearing and then continue to tap it out with a hammer. Continue to work around in a circular motion so the bearing doesn't become wedged in the wheel. Finally finish up with the other bearing using the punch. As you can see the bearings are badly worn. The next method is using a standard screwdriver. The outer case of the bearing may have an edge where you can fit in a screwdriver to remove it from its location. Carefully pry out the bearing and do not damage the plastic wheel. And finally the last method, using a wide enough screwdriver, wedge it in the center of the wheel bearing where the shaft sits and slowly rock it back and forth from its location. Possibly the shaft it sits on the mower can be used for this as well. Now for installation. I will be using the old bearings as I am replacing the wheels completely. Ensure the wheel is clean where the bearing is in contact. Any dirt may cause installation issues and prevent the bearing from seating properly. Place the new bearing in place. Use a hammer to tap it into place. Only hit it on the outer race or flange, otherwise you may risk damaging the bearing. Continue around in a circular pattern so the bearing installs evenly and does not become wedged. Ensure the mounting shafts are clean and reinstall the wheels. When the wheels are off, it's also a good time to oil up any of the mechanisms just to ensure they don't seize up from usage. If you are switching over to a non-bearing wheel like me, when picking a replacement wheel, make sure the mounting holes are the correct diameter for the shafts. Considering the new wheels are the same size and the old rear wheels are a little larger, this will affect the height diameter, but there should be enough height travel in the adjustment to overcome this minor difference. Lower the mower and then tighten the nuts. Finish up by installing the center caps and you're done. New videos are being uploaded every week to my channel, so subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and if you have any comments, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.